find that indifferent or cynical people accomplish little that makes them proud. You'll find that confronting injustice and evil requires a vision of goodness and truth. You'll find that many in your community, especially those younger than you, look to you as an example of conduct and leadership. For your sake and for the sake of our country, I hope you'll always strive to be men of conviction and character. Finally, your life will grow in meaning when you serve a cause greater than yourself. There's a wise saying. We make a living by what we get. We make a life by what we give. That truth is expressed well in the Scout slogan. Do a good turn daily. When you help someone in need, you're making America more hopeful, one heart and one soul at a time. And you're answering the call to love a neighbor just like you'd like to be loved yourself. Every day, scouts are showing that the greatest strength of America lies in the hearts and souls of our citizens. Through your Good Turn for America initiative, scouts have given more than 1.4 million hours of volunteer service this year alone. In Nebraska, scouts have made more than 11,000 pocket-sized flags to send to troops serving overseas. In California, Boy Scouts donated money that raised for summer camp to help victims of the tsunami in Asia. In Louisiana, scouts collected five tons of food to donate to a food bank. In Florida, Boy Scouts and Cub Scouts worked together to clean up the roads before the Super Bowl. And right here at the National Jamboree, scouts are working with Habitat for Humanity to build a home for a Virginia family in need. <laughs> On behalf of a grateful nation, I thank the Boy Scouts for serving on the front lines of America's armies of compassion. organization devoted to service is the USA Freedom Corps. I created the USA Freedom Corps in 2002 to match willing volunteers with opportunities in their communities. If you're interested in serving America, if you're listening to my speech today to the Boy Scouts, call up usafreedomcorps.gov to find out ways that you can join other kind-hearted Americans across our nation to mentor children, to assist the elderly, to clean up the neighborhoods and perform countless acts of generosity. <laughs> this year, Laura is going to work with organizations like the Boy Scouts to lead an initiative called Helping America's Youth. Boy Scouts are recognizing our call to service with a special honor. I was pleased to accept the Good Turn for America Award on behalf of the millions of volunteers all across our country who are helping this country be a hopeful place.
by making a commitment to service, to integrity, and to good citizenship. All of you are showing your gratitude for the blessings of freedom. You also understand that freedom must be defended, and I appreciate the Scouts' long tradition of supporting the men and women of the United States military. Your generation is growing up in an historic time, a time when freedom is on the march and America is proud to lead the armies of liberation. I believe we're laying the foundations of peace for decades to come. And that's not the only reason I'm optimistic about the decades ahead. Because I'm standing in front of America's future leaders. When you follow your conscience and the ideals you have sworn as a scout, there is no limit to what you can achieve for our country. Continue to make right choices in life. Continue to set high standards. Continue to be a leader. Thanks for hosting me tonight. May God bless you all, and may God continue to bless the United States of America.